the 19th week of ordinary time. Our morning prayer, or evening prayer rather, begins on page 252 in our prayer books. Let us join together. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light. Scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Shield us, Lord, from all evil. Lift us from apathy and despair, that even when we are terrified, we may trust your power to save. Amen. Here is hymn number 21 on page 735. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by joyful voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified throughout all creation. Psalm 3 O Lord, I have so many enemies, so many are against me. So many are saying God will never rescue him. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety. For the Lord was watching over me. I am not afraid of ten thousand enemies who surround me on every side. Arise, O Lord, rescue me, my God. Slap all my enemies in the face, shatter the teeth of the wicked. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you bless your people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading tonight from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7. Jesus said to the people, Keep on asking, and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find light. Keep on knocking, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be open. Now that we have been justified through faith, we are at peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we exult in our hope of the splendor of God, and we even exult in the sufferings we endure. For our hope is not in vain, because God's love has flooded our inmost hearts through the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. When we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly, he died for us while we were still enemies, and so God's love for us is revealed. We are more than conquerors to Christ who loved us, for nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is ours, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, 
that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints and trusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. This evening, Lord, we offer up special prayers for Abbot Bernard, for the pain that he's feeling and the struggles physically he's going through right now. Watch over him and grant him your rest, your healing, and your peace. We pray for Elise, O oh Lord, who's struggling all week with migraine headaches and a sore neck and can hardly get out of bed. May she find respite and peace in your care this night. And as she goes to the doctors next week, may she find healing. Watch over Katie, who just purchased a new house and is working on it very hard to get it ready for her and her son. We pray for Abby this night, O oh Lord. Help her see you in the struggles and the tribulation that she is facing from her own choices. And Lord, I thank you for all the prayers that were offered for my short sabbatical to North Dakota for bringing me there and back safely, for watching over me, and for blessing me with wonderful people I met along the way. People that love Jesus and love to hear about you. And Lord, grant us all peace in the struggles that we face every day, for we all are burdened with so many, so hard, so tough in this time of great upheaval in this country. Lord, may we trust in you. May we know you are the answer. And rely on what you have to tell us and live our lives according to your will. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We give you thanks, O God, for revealing your Son to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal Mystery. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And to your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord my God. And now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us. And in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. And may souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you for being with me this evening in prayer. Thank you for lifting up those who are burdened with many cares and troubles of this life. Pray for yourselves as well, that you take care of yourself in a godly way. And grant that we may have strength in the morning to get up and make it to Mass on time. For tomorrow we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. May God's peace be yours this day and always. Amen.